We have our cinnamon crumb raised donut, lemon poppy seed, our pistachio, vanilla cake with sprinkles. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Los Angeles bright and early because I'm gonna be doing the ultimate donut tour. Many people say that LA is the donut capital of the US. And I'm not surprised because there are a lot of really great donut shops of all kinds around this city. But with so many donut shops to choose from, you might be asking, then which ones should I go to? Of course, I can't fit all of the good ones into one episode because there's just too many out there. But what I can do is suggest these three that you can start off with so that whether you live in LA or you're planning to visit Los Angeles, you're gonna be all set. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And with that being said, let's go to the first donut spot. The first donut store that I want to recommend to you is actually right across the street from the famous Farmer's Market and Grove. It's right here, Sidecar Donuts. In case you don't know, this is one of the most critically acclaimed donut shops in Los Angeles. They have some of the most gourmet donuts that you can find, very chef driven, very high quality. Many have even said that this is the best donut shop that you can find in Los Angeles, which means I have to check it out. So Sidecar Donuts has been around since 2012. They do have a few locations around LA County. So you best go to the website to find the one that's closest to you. And they call themselves the world's freshest donuts for a reason, because these donuts are made in small batches like every hour so that it remains fresh constantly using the best seasonal ingredients. So you can already tell, pretty artisan, right? So these are the daily flavors. As you can see from the prices, they are not cheap donuts. So these are donuts for kind of more of an occasion, but I heard that they are super good. Look at all the flavors they got. Oh man, I don't even know which one to choose. I think I'll get all of them. And I guess this kind of makes it easy for you. So you can get the best 12 flavors in one box. So six pack for $20 or 12 pack for $54, nice. You see, order 12 donuts and receive a 13th for free. What a deal. And I must mention that Sidecar Donuts also makes some really nice artisan coffees. Like they got your lattes, as well as your macchiatos, as well as your mocha and your chai latte, even Vietnamese iced coffee, which I heard is super good here. If you don't believe me when I tell you that they fresh make this, it's out in front of everybody so you can see like an open kitchen. They would fry it, and then afterwards, they would coat it, do whatever it is to make it pretty and tasty, and then they would lay it all right over here on display. And when you touch some of these donuts, they're still hot, you can feel it. That's a great thing, right? Ooh, how thoughtful, they even have free samples up here. Maybe I'll try this one, which is the Huckleberry, their most popular one from what I heard. Wow, so fruity. Oh, so fresh tasting too. Okay, I can already tell I'm gonna like these donuts. I'm not gonna eat all 12 of these in one sitting, but I decided to get their 12 pack. You know, I can always enjoy it at home later on. So let's see what they got. So the top one is the chocolate, and then the bottom one is the maple, maple bacon. Yeah, I see the fresh bacon on there. And then we also have strawberry, which is that one, and lemon pound cake. That sounds awesome. And then here we have the celebration. You can tell because it has all the sprinkles. Old fashioned, which I heard you can't go wrong with. And then up here we got butter, salt, which I also heard is very popular. This one, bestseller, Huckleberry. If you like a fruity, that's the one you gotta get. And then I got another strawberry right up there. And then this one is toasted pina colada. Wow, that sounds so tropical. And then on this side, we got some of the bigger donuts, the passion fruit, bavlova. I've never heard of this one before, but it looks really big, yes. And then that one is the vanilla bean glaze. So if you plan to specifically come to this location on Fairfax, one hour validated parking. So I think it's best that you pick up or you eat pretty fast in one of these chairs here. Or perhaps maybe you're already across the street doing some shopping, sightseeing right there at the Grove, 
you can walk on right over here and enjoy some world-class donuts. That almost tastes like eating a chocolate muffin. Whoa, I love it. I'm gonna take another bite. Chocolate donuts, chocolate cakes, just give it to me. Yes, this is really good. If you love chocolate, you can really taste that chocolate flavor. All right, I'm digging this. I never thought I would find like a purely chocolate donut here. What about that lemon pound cake? Look at that shiny glaze. It's like so milky, I love it. Really, it, it tastes just like eating a lemon pound cake. These are some seriously fresh donuts. You can taste it. It's like just kind of crispy, but then on the inside, it's, it's all cakey like that. My favorite kind of donuts. He's kind of like cake donuts. I know some of you guys maybe like those spongier type of donuts, but I like the ones that taste more like a cake. My kind of donuts. And did I mention they do have a lot of good coffee drinks here? Vietnamese iced coffee. Mmm. Yeah, tastes just like a Vietnamese iced coffee. Mmm. Okay, and the good thing is it's not too sweet because I had Vietnamese iced coffees where I was like, ah, it was way too sweet. I would say you can taste more of like the milkier taste in this one. But still, you can taste the coffee too. Really good, really good. Ooh, this old fashioned is pretty hot. I can tell this came out of the fryer like just a few minutes ago. Whoa, that thing is mind blowing. There is nothing better than fresh donuts. It's so warm, it's crispy, and it's, it's so moist. I can seriously eat like 10 of these. If this whole box was just filled with the old fashioned, I wouldn't mind. It's an incredible flavor. I think I'm gonna switch it up a bit and try the maple bacon one. Mmm. Now, if beef were up here, I would think it's a really weird combination. But pork, like bacon, if you sweeten it, it actually is a pretty good combination. I didn't really think it was gonna work as a donut, but it actually does, so not bad. I mean, not my favorite flavor out of all of them here, but still, it definitely does have a very unique taste. Now, this one is undoubtedly the biggest one of them all, the passion fruit bavlova. Look at that, it's a beast. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Oh, man. Wow, that cream on top is so delicious, too. It's like passion fruit whipped cream or something. Oh. Wow, I think this is one of the best cream donuts I've had. Because I'm not the biggest fan of cream donuts, but if you can make it right, it's like, wow. I never knew that donuts could taste this good. Because I've been accustomed to eating mostly like those $1.50 mom and pop type donut stores because I'm very content with that. So today's my first time really experiencing donuts like these in LA. And I'm so glad I did. So if you guys, you gotta check out Sidecar Donuts. If you guys are planning to visit all three of these donut shops in one day, the good news is that it's all driving distance, like very close driving distance since they're all kind of within the same area. So that's good news for you if you wanna do your own little donut tour in LA. And now I'm in the neighborhood of Larchmont, which I don't come to that often. So this is quite a very interesting experience for me. The donut shop is called Holy Grail Donuts. This is also another one of the most popular donut shops that you can find in Los Angeles. It originated in Hawaii as a food truck or a food stand. And now they have a few locations around LA. That's pretty awesome, right? In case you were wondering, that's how much each donut costs, $4. As you can see, it's not a cheap donut, but this is considered a gourmet donut shop, and I'll show you why in just a bit. You can get a four pack for 16, or you can do the nine pack for $32, which is what I'm gonna do today. And these are all the flavors. They all look so good and so different in their own way, but I heard that the most popular one is the original Sin, which I'm gonna try for sure. But like I said, they have other things too, like if you want a more chocolatey, 
you wanted more of like a cardamom type of flavor or perhaps something like a local honey. And just so you guys can see the beverage choices, that's the coffee. Yeah, every one of these donut shops have their coffee selections and even their tea selections, as well as their very famous fizz. I'm gonna try it because I heard everybody guess this here. This is the type of donut shop you need to come to because all the donuts are made to order. You heard that right. It's not like in the old days where they just make everything at 5 a.m. and they toss it out and it can be sitting there till like 6 p.m. Once you order it, it goes through this machine, then it would fry in here. So after the donut finishes frying, that's all of the glaze. Look how shiny that looks. It's so wet. Yeah, it's gonna eventually dry, but you got some awesome flavors that you can choose from. When I see this, I don't even feel like I'm in a donut shop. I feel like I'm in a sushi restaurant or something where they cut the fish and then they would just top it to make it look really fancy, like in one of those omakase restaurants. This is taking donut making to a new level, I'm telling you. Look at everything that's in here. Isn't this so pretty, guys? I'm gonna show you all the flavors I got. So that one is the original Sin which is the most popular one here from what I heard. The Hawaii vanilla bean with maple sea salt. Ooh, that's groovy. And that one is the lilikoi, which is the local passion fruit. You can tell, look at that color. Yeah, it looks like something out of an island. That's so awesome. And then that one is the Hail Mary, which is cardamom and rose. Very pretty as well. And then down here is the dandelion chocolate, which is the single original chocolate. And then that one is the, uh, let's see, whey waffle. Oh yeah, I love the presentation of it. Look at those waffle chips on top and that glaze, that's so awesome. And then that one is the J Dilla, which is single origin chocolate coconut butter. And then down there, we got the Hot Single. Oh, look at these names, they're so awesome. Local Honey Flaky Sea Salt. And that one is the LNL, &L, which is Lemon Sugar, Lime Curd, Citrus, Caviar. You heard that right, their version of a caviar. And then we got the Miso Honey. Miso Local Honey Black Lava Sea Salt. And yeah, those are the nine. It's very challenging to find parking, especially if you come during rush hour, like lunchtime. So you're just gonna have to meter park somewhere, come on in, uh, not too much indoor seating. So hopefully you have it somewhere nearby where you can eat it. And you wanna eat these right away because these donuts are fresh, made to order. I've never heard of such a thing before. So no, no pun intended for sidecar donuts, but I think these are the world's freshest donuts. Maybe I'll try a few of these just to get an idea of what these donuts taste like. Beginning with their most popular original sin. Mmm. Fresh donuts really warm their soul. So this one is very cakey too. Cakey but kind of spongy at the same time. That's very interesting. Like I said, their most popular flavor. It's simple but it's very nice. Everybody's saying this is something you have to get here at this donut shop, the fizz. I got the matcha colada. That is really good tasting. So you taste the fizzy, like the carbonated water, matcha flavor, along with the, the uh, pina colada foam that's on top. And be sure not to shake it because I heard it's gonna explode. I don't think I've ever had a flavor like this before. Okay, Lola Koi time. Passion fruit flavor, never had this donut flavor before. And I wanna show you how big the donuts are. They're not terribly big donuts. Uh, it's like it kind of fits, fits in your palm, just like that. Yeah, so very, you know, small donuts. Sweet and fruity, tastes just like passion fruit. I really feel like these are the type of donuts that you can find if you were somewhere in Hawaii, whether it's Honolulu or one of the cities in Maui, like their take on donuts. And I guess if you're in the mood for like plain chocolate, then the single dandelion is really the one you have to get. And you can even tell the glaze is fresh because it's not like super dried on. You know what I'm talking about? Like where you hit it and the whole thing 
it's dry and it cracks, you can still really feel the wetness or the moistness of it. That's how fresh it is. And I don't think I've had chocolate this fresh on top of donut like this before. I'm telling you, these are super fresh donuts. I didn't even think a store like this existed. Now this one is also very popular, their hot single. It's kind of a simpler looking donut, but there's glaze on it. That's why it's very shiny. I like this one. It's like a honey glaze. And you can kind of taste the saltiness on top too, but not overpowering. So I would say that the donuts here aren't really super heavy. These are more, like I said, medium sized lighter donuts that's not gonna completely kill your stomach after one donut. You can easily eat like three of these or four or five. And they're very addicting to eat. Like I said, not the cheapest donuts around, but it's definitely quality. And if you're looking for donuts with that, that Polynesian Hawaiian twist, then I think this is really the closest you're gonna find in LA. So look up the closest holy donuts to you because it's my first time trying it and I think it's really one of the best donuts you can find in LA. I'm just so blown away. Yes, yes, totally worth it, totally worth it. And last but not least, we have this very special spot in Miracle Mile District called SK's Donuts and Croissants. According to Yelp, this is the highest rated donut shop in Los Angeles. They've been around here for about 35 years and they are most known for their cronuts, which is a mixture of a croissant and a donut. That's pretty cool, right? So in case you guys are wondering, this is how much the donuts cost. The classic donuts are about $2.25, classic dozen donuts, 24. And then when you go to specialties, it's $4, S cronut, $5. So not exactly the cheapest donuts around. So I would say this is a little bit more like on the elevated side. And then if you're looking to get your breakfast items other than the donuts, they have the egg and cheese. It goes all the way down to spicy, deluxe. So yeah, they got you taken care of for breakfast, but also they have lunch sandwiches too. Look at that, turkey sandwich, tuna sandwich, veggie sandwich. And of course, you gotta have your coffee too, right? You got your house drip coffee, Americano, iced coffee, you got your lattes. Yeah, they all sound so good, especially for a hot day like today. Let's do it. Let's get one coffee. My dozen donuts in a box. So since this is a combination of the cronut and the classic donuts, it's about $40, a little bit over 40. But you don't have to get a combination like this. You can do whatever you want. I just decided to go with all their popular things like their apple pie S cronut. Yes, I heard this is a good one, especially if you love apple pie. And that one is the creme brulee. I always like that at restaurants, so this sounds like a good flavor. And that one is glazed S cronut. Yes, yeah, so a little bit of a simpler cronut. And this one is the strawberry Nutella S cronut. So strawberry Nutella fans, you gotta get that. And then down here, we got vegan pistachio. Yes, they have a pretty nice vegan donut option too. Nutella walnut, as well as the vegan berry blast. So fruity, I love it. And here's another vegan one, the vegan chocolate Boston cream. And then down here, we got red velvet cream cheese crumble cake. And look at that one, strawberry cheesecake. Oh, that one looks so appetizing. And then the blueberry cream cheese crumble cake. That sounds good too. And last but not least at the store, Banana Foster. Even though there is free parking outside in this little strip mall, the donuts you have to pick up and take to go because there's no indoor seating whatsoever. FYI, the only reason why I'm in here right now is to show you guys what the donuts here look like. So they did this very graciously for me, but for you guys, just remember, you have to buy it and take it to go. Now I'm gonna try to go through as many as I can. There's about 12 in here. It's a lot. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can finish all of them, but I'll try my best. Beginning with the apple pie cronut. Mm. That's pretty good. Now I can see why they call it a cronut because it does taste like a croissant 
But then at the same time, it kind of tastes like a donut. Now this is my type of Krona because it's a apple pie flavor. They use real apples on top. It's nice and sweet. So it's almost like eating a slice of nice, cool apple pie, but just on top of like a croissant donut type of a blend. I like it. Okay, no complaints about this one because I'm into apple pie. Now you guys might not be, and if you're not into it, then skip on it, of course, because there's a lot of other selections. But if you guys like that apple pie flavor, then this is the top one you should get. And I did mention that they have some pretty nice iced coffee drinks here, right? Vanilla flavor. Okay, I like it. I'm into lattes. So if you guys need your coffee, especially on the summer day, get it iced. Yes, now back to my donuts, creme brulee. Interesting. What's crazy is that this actually tastes like a creme brulee. I mean, even look at the top, look at how crunchy it is, it breaks. See that, that shell? It's like that sugar glaze on top that's crunchy. Just like you would find when you find the actual creme brulee, you know how the top, when it's torched, it's like kind of crunchy on top? Exactly the same, and you see the cream filling? Woo! Oh yeah, that's some good cream filling. Cream filling tastes exactly like creme brulee. I don't think I've had a donut like this before. All right, next one, glazed cronut. You know, this almost tastes like a Krispy Kreme donut, but just with a cronut texture. And like I said, kind of more of like your basic cronut, but it doesn't have to be fancy. I mean, as long as it tastes great. So yes, this is one of their specialties here. Got to get this one, the glazed cronut. All right, I'm going to move away from the cronut and try their vegan donuts, like their vegan pistachio. Mm, it's good. Okay, now these are the donuts that I'm more accustomed to. Honestly, I don't know the difference in taste between a vegan and a non-vegan donut. But if you are vegan, then I guess this is the one you should get. Oh, I'm actually liking this a lot. So far, one of my favorite flavors. And the one to the bottom is the red velvet cream cheese, yes. These are the donuts that I am very accustomed to. The ones that really taste like a cake. You know what I'm talking about? Where it really does taste like a cake, but shaped in the shape of a donut. Tastes exactly like a red velvet cake with that cream cheese glaze on it. I think red velvet's the way to go. This is one of their best sellers here. Yeah, so if you're getting one of these regular kind of donuts, red velvet cake, one of the best things here. Now this is pretty epic. Look at this strawberry cheesecake, crazy. See fresh strawberries on top, no joke. Like you're, you taste the donut, but then you have all that fresh strawberry and strawberry glaze going into your mouth. It's pretty heavy, I do admit. I usually don't eat donuts that are this heavy. I feel like once you eat one of these, you're pretty much full. It's like a whole meal on top of this. See, look at that. You got your fruits and the, the donut itself, which is so fat. Ooh. Oh man, I'm really going fancy with my donuts today. As you can tell, this is definitely very elevated donuts. Every time I see donuts like this, I, I know I'm gonna get full after eating that one donut. Now here's another one that sounds exactly the way it is described, banana foster. You see that cream in the middle? Yeah, it's there with fresh banana on top. Woo, that's good. You know, all of these donuts are really good. When I saw this one, I knew I had to get it too. The strawberry Nutella Cronut. This thing is pretty insane, look at it. Okay, I think this is one of my favorites here too. Everything about this cronut is like, wow. 
you see the size of it with the strawberries, which are pretty fresh, fairly sweet, and the Nutella, which is not terribly sweet. It's like a very good sweetness. It's big. It's big and it's delicious. It's like this nice big strawberry chocolate pastry in your mouth. Now here's one I'm definitely gonna get again when I come back here next time. It not only looks good, but it tastes great as well. You better believe the hype. I think I only have space to try one more, but the rest I'll take to go. Okay, it's like a cream donut with the chocolate on top. Lots of cream in the center. Boston cream, if you love cream and chocolate flavor, it's definitely a winner too. Now, if you're asking me what are some of my favorites, apple pie and the strawberry Nutella cronut, definitely the way to go. You gotta get these two. But if you're not into cronuts, the crumble cake, you can't go wrong with that. I don't care what flavor it is. Maybe I'm just really into crumble cake, but it seems like any crumble cake you get, you're gonna like it, especially the red velvet. Definitely the way to go. So these are three of some of the best donut shops you can try in Los Angeles. Now, if you're asking me which of the three I liked personally the best, I probably would have to say Sidecar Donuts because it just tasted so good all around. Those are just like my kind of donuts. But hey, everybody has their own opinion. So if you've tried these three donut spots before, I want you to drop your comment and tell me which of these three you liked the best. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next food adventure.